Hi, welcome to my uh, guitar tutorial. See an expanded view of the, of the blues box. So I'm using E minor uh, pentatonic as my basic uh, template today. So I started off uh, with the uh, introduction, just playing through uh, the scalar positions, okay? And then I added in some chromatics. So look below the description of the video to find uh, three different PDFs, uh, a diagram of the 10th position and 12th position super box. Uh, and then I also have the actual permutations written in scalar uh, per uh, per permutations and then also chromatic permutations. So I don't know where I first heard about this idea of super boxes, probably in some, uh, like a guitar magazine, you know, guitar, guitar player, guitar world, guitar for the practicing musician. Um, I grew up, you know, uh, came up uh, reading those magazines and, and using them uh, for my own study and then also for uh, teaching lessons. Okay, so I think what I'll do f to start with today is I'll go ahead and I'll play through uh, uh, each of the patterns. So I'll start off with 10th position scalar. So what I'll do is I'll say the first three notes, the D, E, G, and then I'll just play through each of the permutations. So this would be like three in a row. So D, E, G. And then backwards. change my tone a little bit okay so now to the next one so the next one is D G E backwards so you notice that one you're landing on the notes of the of the of the blues box in, in 12 okay so the next one is E D G so E. Okay, DG. Now next one is E G D. Next one is G D E. So this, this one's also going to land on the 12th fret. Backwards. And the last one of that set, scalar, so G E D. Words. Okay, so now going on to the 12th position scalar. So that's on that uh, same PDF. So this is going to be e, the one starting from E, G, A. Backwards. Next one is E A G. Backwards. Okay, okay, so the next one is G E A. Sorry. Words. Okay, so I'll just point out that's interesting that that happened. So, so you might find, uh, depending on your hand size and everything, you might find some of these uh, stretches a little bit uh, difficult to do. So then you just maybe have to uh, do some slides or whatever. So that was G E A. So next one is G A E. So that's going to be landing on the 12th fret again. So. Words. Okay, so G A E. 
So the next one is AEG. That's a kind of interesting. It, it sort of, it takes these patterns and you just break them up and, and you're ending on a, on a different note than you would normally land on. Backwards. And then the last one of that set would be AGE. Backwards. So you'll notice there you'll have a doubling of the note. E, B, and so, and then the same thing happens ascending. So E, G, A, A, okay, and so on. Okay, so those are the two uh, two patterns, 10th uh, uh, and 12th. So I don't really have a lot of licks worked out with this. Uh, this isn't a system that I use a lot. It's just something that I every so often come back to. Um, yeah, so any of those ones where, where you have the same fingering on adjacent strings, those are good uh, ones for developing your own kind of licks. So as I've been talking a lot in, in my videos, uh, a lot of times I just present really raw ideas and then it's up to you to use your imagination. I'm just kind of pointing you in a direction and then you have to decide for yourself what you want to do with that. Okay, so maybe I'll just put the backing track back on and I'll just kind of mess with this pattern right here, A, B, D, D, E, G, and then B, D, E, E, G, A. I'll just kind of mess with that. So that I, uh, I have not really addressing the idea of, of hammer on pull offs. So that's just gonna be up to your technique, you know, pull off. All different kind of legatos, you know. Um, and that would just be a question of practicing and uh, getting that under your fingers. So I'll just do a couple, a couple uh, licks out of that uh, section there. So that creates an interesting sound. I, I just put the expandora back on for that. Uh, it's 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 an interesting sound because you have these doubling. So then it's just a question of you're getting your guitar. So, so you notice like what I did was I I got my strap a little bit higher, uh, getting ready for this video. So I'm I have it kind of wearing it like a bib, as they talk about Roy Buchanan. Uh, you know, wore, wore the guitar like a bib. All right, let me just pick one more spot here. Let me just see if I can find another interesting spot. So there's your blues box. Yeah, so, so the other thing that this tells you, this, t this also shows you where you can slide into and out of the blues box. And also tells you where you can do your bending. So uh, I'm not going to do any step and a half bends right now because I don't want to get my guitar out of tune. I don't want to risk uh, you getting uh, breaking your string. But but certainly uh, you know any, any of these places where you have... right so, any of those can be bends and so on. And then if you want to do step and a half bends, are also okay. So let me do some. I'll do some licks out of here. And I'll do some slides out of the out of the blues box.
just a couple you know, a couple ideas there with uh you know out of there so you know once again use your imagination okay so then uh, the other thing i thought would be int was interesting was just to do the chromatic so i talk i talk about that in some of my videos um so uh i'll go ahead and go through that that sheet there so so 10th position so all i'm doing is i'm, I'm breaking them up into uh you know three notes or four note chromatics uh up 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 down 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 up now so also, I didn't bother to do this here, but you can also uh, reverse, you know, do, for example, do this one and then that one. I, but I didn't want to belabor the, the process here. So that would be up to you to kind of figure all that out. So, so I'll just, uh, once again, I'll just, I'll just play through the sheet. I'm not going to say every single note. So this is the up, up. This is 10th position chromatic starting with D, D sharp, E. So I'll just go slowly. Just down strokes. Fifth string. Third string, all up, and I'll do it backwards. So I'll start from here. Second, third, uh, fourth, third, fifth, fifth, and then here. So that so that's uh, up up. So now we're gonna go up and then down. So up from D D sharp E and then down from G to E. Then here uh, fifth down B from E down up from E down from A up from A down from D up from D and then down from G. I'll do that backwards. So a first string down, second, third, uh, up, fourth string, up, down, and then up, down. Okay, so now we'll go down and down. So we're taking it's this is from E, E flat, D. So I, I chose to, if I'm going up, up the uh, strings. D, D sharp, E, and if I'm going down, E, E flat. So down from uh, E, E flat, D, down from G, fifth fret, fifth string, uh, down from D, down from E, third string, down, down from B, down from E. Okay, I'll do one more from here. So this is down and then followed by up. So down from E, E flat, and then up here. Down from D, up from here, down here, down, up, down. Okay, so once again, I, I, I can see to this and I've, I've looked at this system off and on over the years. Uh, I didn't really come up with a lot of, uh, a lot of licks or anything um, out of this. But certainly you just, you just need to just kind of spend some time exploring this. I have uh, videos where I talk about, you know, this little, little piece here. So... Yeah, maybe I'll just take this little piece here and then I'll work with these four, three note, four note groups so you can do some different things rhythmically uh, with this.
kind of see how that works. I mean, let me see if I, there's anything else here. Um, maybe I'll kind of mess with this a little bit, this this little piece here in the, in the blues box, because that was kind of the, the idea of the, the video. You know, to see an expanded view of the blues box. So that's kind of what I'm trying, trying to do here. So you have that there, threes. And then you have these four patterns. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see what that's it. So I'll do that a little bit, and then I'll just kind of, you just kind of go freely. So I'll go with th uh, three patterns. That's yeah, kind of nice, actually. So what I did there, so that so that I did something. So, so I'm just kind of uh, messing with the with with the permutations, yeah. Because the way I have them written here, I'm just doing in one direction. But obviously, you can use your imagination and go in, in in other directions. Okay, let's do the the last set here, 12 position uh, chromatic. So here I'm I'm just going to the 12 position blues box. So you can go up up. So E to G, G to A, A to B, a fifth string, B to D. D to E, fourth string, E to G, G to A, third string, A to B, uh, B, B to D, second string, D, next to E to G, uh, G. Now do the holding backwards, first string, second string, third string, fourth, uh, third, uh, fifth, and then six. Okay, so now we're gonna go up, the first pattern up, and then down. That's it, okay, up, down, down, up, third string, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then say it backwards, up, down, So up, down. Okay, so now we have down, down. So to me, one of the interesting things about this is this three, four rhythmic, um, you know, just you're just kind of messing with the rhythms. One, two, three, four, do, 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 do and so on. Okay, so go down from G to E, and then down from uh, A to G, down, down, D, four, down. So I'm just going right across the page. Down, D to B. G to E, and then sending backwards, uh, G, to, G to E. Okay, down, down. Um, and then obviously you can you can switch the order of these two, which I, like I said earlier in the video, I, I, I just didn't want to have too many different possibilities, but just just switch the order of these. Okay, then the last one on that page there, going down, followed by up. So G to E, and then up to A, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then backwards, down, up, down, up, down, down, 
up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so uh, like I, I've been been saying in the video, I, I don't, this is just something that I came up with probably, I don't know, several days ago, and I've been messing with it a little bit. I, I didn't really sit down and work out like really specific licks here. Um, But uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, I think it's it's kind of interesting to to, to juxtapose the threes and fours. So maybe I'll just do a couple licks. Right, I'll just kind of mess with the four three three four uh, on different string groups. ideas now one of the things i haven't addressed and it, so this is just a once again this is just a starting point just some raw ideas then obviously you can take all this stuff and and not just play each note one time but but do multiples or whatever or like i did there where i, where I took this you know the, these patterns and So I think I'll start wrapping this up. So, so you get the idea of this. I'm just uh, you know, trying to take these, you know, these patterns, these, you know, the blues box, and then expanding it to the one right below, and then the one right above, and then just calling it a super box. And that was a concept that I learned about uh, many, many years ago. Maybe some of you, if you have come across that, uh, I can't remember once again who, uh, who coined the phrase super box. It was, I guess, it was probably in some kind of. Um, you know, guitar uh, magazine uh, somewhere. Okay, I think what I'll do for my ending improvisation, I'll just maybe play through this uh, track maybe two times. Um, and I'll just use some of these concepts. Um, you know, try to get a little bit more creative with it, so I won't necessarily do the, you know, the the patterns exactly as written. I'll see if I can do some some different uh, things with with those. Put the expandora back on. Okay, thanks for listening. And watching and have fun exploring these patterns. Uh, once again, don't don't be too concerned if you can't do the stretches. Then just do either bends or or slides, um, um, and then uh, incorporate that into your playing.